Okay, hopefully this will explain long multiplication and how it's done using the column method. I'm going to use 462 times by 37 as the, as the example. So in order to do this, what I've actually got to do, I've got to do 7 lots of 462 and then 30 lots of 462. Add them together and I'll have 37 lots of 462, which is what the question is. So first off I'm going to do, I'm going to do 7 lots of 462. And I'm going to do that in a column method. So I have 462, and I have times it by 7. I'll explain what's going to happen, just in case you don't know how to do this. The first thing I'm going to do is 7 times 2. And 7 times 2 equals 40. So 7 times 2 is 40, so I put down 4 and carry 1. I've done 7 times 2. The next thing I will do is 7 times 60. 7 6 is a 42, and then add the 0. So 42, and add the 0. Let's try it over here. 7 sixes are 42. And I've got one here which makes 43. And the last bit is going to be 7 times the 400. So 7 times 400, that equals 7 force 28 and then add two zeros. Alternatively, I could add two zeros and then put down 28. So here I've done 7 twos, I've done 7 sixes, I'm now going to do 7 fours. 7 force 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. 3, 2, 3, 4. If I add up this, that'll be 4, 3, 8 and 4 is 12, 2 and 1 makes 3, 3, 2, 3, 4. So I've done that first bit, but now what I'm going to do is do 462 times by 30. So I've got 462, and I'm going to times that by 30. Well, what I would normally do is times four, 3 by 462, and then add a 0. What I'm going to do here I'm going to do the, add the zero first. Because so I could do here, 7 fours are 28 and add two zeros. Or I could add the two zeros first and then do 7 fours. So what I've got here, I'm going to add the zero first. So I've now added the zero. And now 3 twos are 6, 3 sixes are 18, and 3 fours 12, 13. And so I've got 30 462s just down there. And I've got seven of them up here and so all I have to do is to add them together. So I get three, two, three, four, add it to one, three, eight, six, O, oh, and that comes to four, nine, eight and two is ten, three and three is six, plus one is seven, one. And that's a quite a long way of doing it. So now I'm going to do it, I'll do it in red. The important bit is how I would do it uh, in column method. So I write down 462, and I'm timesing it by 37. I'm going to do it all in one go. First off, I'm going to times by 7, and that's the bit which we had up here. So 7 2 is 14. 7 6 is 42, plus that 1 makes 43. So put down 3, carry the 4. 7 4 is 28, plus that 4 there, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 32. I've times by the 7, so I put, look, I've done that bit. Now I've got to times by 3, but it's not 3, it's 30. So I need to add the 0 first for the 30. And now 3 2 is 6, 3 6 is 18, 3 4 is 12, plus that 1 makes 13. And now I add them up. And as you can see, I've got exactly that sum here. So 4, that would be 9, 8 and 2 is 10. 3 and 3 is 6, plus that 1 is 7, and a 1 there. I've got the same answer, but look how quick it was. Didn't have to draw a grid, didn't have to draw diagonals down any boxes. It was just done. Right, now what I want you to try is you now have a go at try 354 times by 71, and then do uh, 407 times by 712. Have a go at those and then have a look at the next screencast to see if it see if you got it right. And that's long multiplication explained.